This is Dr. Myers on a freezing cold wintry day here in Utah. And we have my friend here, he's gonna take out three lipomas on his forearm, and they are gonna slip on out of here like slipping down a hill, an icy hill. Boom. Crash. Here we go. Bit's gonna bleed. See those two little blood vessels? Oh. So let's uh Can you get the hypercator? Yeah, let's get the hypercator. Then I watched the Super Bowl last night, and you were the only one in this room who did. I can't nope. believe you did that. Also, oh, you watched ever. it too? Yeah, I won 75 bucks on that game. Congratulations. That's amazing. Uh, just winner or loser, or by points? Um, we did the squares, so by points. That almost sounds okay. like bingo. I'm not so really a gambling man, so I don't quarter. even know what that means. Doesn't that feel like the 24 bomb that's gonna go off? <laughs> yeah. Wait a I'm like, wait a minute, my. I... Okay, so there's there's a little electrocautery, and shouldn't feel it, but you'll hear it. Okay, so let's see how this guy wants to do. Okay, so usually... I should have a couple in there, so we'll see. It's like what do. this, like bonus. Bonus lipoma? Yes, this is bonus, bonus lipoma. Damn that. Right, Jeff? Right. Scott, but... So, Scott, sorry. Jeff is, Jeff is Scott. close enough. That's you. David. David. But close enough. Sorry. I'm numbed, you know, that just changes my mind. <laughs> Your name's Jeff. <laughs> and you say, I'm not Jeff. I'm not Jeff. There we go. I'm David Scott. <laughs> so that's it. Sometimes I gotta do that where I split it up in the center and then it allows like one to pop out. Can go ahead and dab that. And really, I'm always trying to get it out of a small opening because it, it's less, multiple things, less scar, less pain, um, probably those, <laughs> less scar and less pain, less, less cause of infection. So, you know, so if it seems like I'm struggling a little bit, that's usually because I'm just bit off right at the border of what I can chew. So I'm going to kind of cut that one in half and then it usually pops out. <laughs> You're right. It's like that was giving birth. That is two twin twinners. First baby and bonus baby. Let's get this bad boy out. There it is. Adorable. Okay, we'll submit those two. Thank you so much. Okay, one down. So I'm gonna go this direction. I think it'll just come out a little easier. And the sutures, and it'll be easier to bleed. Yeah, that's the way you started. Uh, I started that way, then I was like, ah. uh, see, Jeff, because the blood vessels. vessels. Get yeah. the blood vessels. You did? Yeah. yeah. Well, dude, you, know, you knew well, it. You, know. you knew it, Scott. It's okay. Yeah. He's got these little. Je Jeff knew it. These little reticular veins. Jeff. Can you dab that, please? Listen, that's your camera name from now on, so no one will know your identity. It'll be Jeff. The lipoma dude. The winter lipomas. All right, let's see if that stops some of the oozing. Now, out of my small incision, let's see what we can get out of here. Make a little room. It's already popping out. Yeah. Like a glove. 
Wait, that analogy doesn't work. Mm. Like magic. Okay, that's two. Now we're gonna do number three. We're gonna suture those two. Oh, you found a little tiny one? Yeah. Might as well get it all. This is like you were cooking meatballs and one of the meatballs fell underneath the burner. You know there's still meatballs. Here you thought you had all the meatballs, but well, that one doesn't sound too good. So this one's kind of tough in there. I think I'm taking out little bits of his muscle. You know, it's almost like he's really ripped. That was just like a little... Shredded. Yeah, a little, uh... Just kidding. That was a white palma. You know. You're a good driver. You grew up in Utah. Slow. Yeah. 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 Stop well before a stop sign. <laughs> you're I, good. No big deal. I, uh... I have a truck, and... So excited to start it with my... With my electric start this morning, but... My boy had left the door open. Oh... oh. That's a problem. So, dude, it was covered. Oh. It was covered in snow inside. Oh, no. Oh, it's fully open. Half open. Okay. Half open. But oh, it was like, the, it was so stormy and blowy night all night. So, With the wind and, and the high wind. So the wind and the highlands. So, anyways, got that brushed out. And it's currently still full of snow even after the warm drive here. <laughs> but I'm thinking it might melt in perfectly soggy up stuff, but it'll be oh fine. Oh boy, that's too bad. All right, T, is that one? Okay, let's do this last one. Well, we take out any of that are painful, we can take out, so. Absolutely, and this is, this is painful. Ouch. Well, you're numb, so you shouldn't feel anything oh, yeah. right now. Yeah, it's not painful right now. Yeah. Right. What'd you do this weekend, Scott? Ooh, I fertilized my yard. That's right. <laughs> the bees came out. The, the snow melted just long enough. Uh, <laughs> took the Christmas lights off. I mean, I just, and then the calm before the storm, might as well get some stuff done. Yeah, no kidding. That, uh, here we go. We'll put that in a jar. Yeah, can you believe the high yesterday was 56, the high today is 26? A 30 degree swing. When do you ever see that? That's pretty rare. It's, that's, that's chilly. That wind last night kept me up. Did it? Yeah, it was blowy. It was blustery for sure. Okay, well that this one came out the easiest of the three for sure. I kept, it kept waking up last night and kept looking outside and expecting, expecting trees, tons of snow trees to come down. It was just wind and just blowing wind. it, blowing it to your neighbors. Exactly. Exactly. My my gate blew in. It did. Yeah. I saw it as I was driving out. So. That's always Gotta go fix always that. exciting. Yeah. yeah. Just the hinges or yeah. something. Yeah. It's it's done it before, so hopefully I can just do a little Jimmy it back. hack job and get it fixed. Listen, I just want to bring up MacGyver right now. If you need some duct tape and a Swiss Army <laughs> knife to make a bomb or fix your gate, <laughs> you can do that. Well said. Well said. I'm of the MacGyver era. Okay, we'll glue that, yep. put stitches on that last one, we're done.